Hi, hello again, and um, welcome to this um, another session. In this session here, I'm going to show you how to uh, create an SQL Server instance, an SQL Server database for the Anvis software and devices. Now, the Anvis software once installed, all right, automatically wherever you install it. In this case, I'm installing it in Program Files. In six and the standard right it's automatically connected to this database here ATT ATT2003.mdb now we don't want an MS access database personally I've used it before um, I've linked systems to M uh, SQL server to MS access databases but one of the problems I find is that um, once the services are running to automatically download time from the clock it locks the database that causes a problem with SQL Server you have to go in you have to change the uh, the logon information for the instance and for the services alright um, before you're able to actually run both at the same time that is being able to pull database out the, uh, the data out of the access database and um, getting the time to download from the clock automatically now before you even get to uh, install well you would have a clock I figure you probably have a clock by now um, and this software installed just double click on that now you will need an instance installed on your system and you will need SQL Server Management Studio now in this case I'm using uh, Server 2012 uh, come to databases I'll just create a new database for this All right I'm gonna call it on this right when my database is created now I'm going to use the Anvis database and I'm going to execute the store processor and my store processor is successfully executed I'll just refresh here so that my databases are all refreshed now when I come in here I see all the Anvis tables alright so part one done now we need to create a DNS for this thing right um, now the default password is blank for Anvis software this here is basically the Anvis software system right that's the um, thing now database linking now notice you see this is where the database link is now we don't want that okay we want an SQL server client system right now we're gonna take the server name here Taking a while. All right, let's put slash. What's my um? What is my occupy instance name? Dot slash occupy. All right, leave it that. Use Windows NT. Integrated password. Right. Um, select the database. We're going to use Anvis. Okay. Test connection. Connection test successful. Okay. Now we've successfully linked the Anvis database to our SQL Server. Now we're going to connect to our device to our time clock. Here we have the parameters for now here you, now this is something you would like to know all right database setting you could put your automatic time download in here run it at say seven o'clock oh here say at seven a.m you could run it at eight a.m all right you could run it at maybe twelve all right lunch time then you might want to run it after lunch 
13 13 30 right then everybody should be back from lunch right and set up your automatic time downloading now I'm gonna add a device all right uh, my IP is the device IP is 201 okay and it's a fingerprint verification device all right LAN communication da 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 and okay all right I want to download the data from this ter terminal looking for can I connect hmm. only if we're on the same network One nine two one six eight dot one dot four. That's my IP. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Let me ping this device and see. Hmm. Now I'm going to show the device. I'm just gonna check the device information, make sure I'm connecting it properly. Ah, my IP is wrong. It's one nine two one six eight. Okay. To restart the device, just a second. Bear with me a moment, right? I should have done this before I started the demonstration, but just bear with me a second here, okay? Alright, let me just bring it back, right? We're on. Alright, so we come back to the hair. Seriously? Ah, the IP address is wrong on this again. What am I doing? Let me just have this device back again. Changes when I changed it, okay. Okay, now it's blue, so it's supposed to work. Alright, so I have eight records successfully downloaded. Alright, now we're gonna check in our time and attendance system here. Um, there is a view for this. So top 1000 and that's the time and there we have user ID okay and the time date and time that the ID was actually uh, recorded all right well thank you very much for watching have a good day